Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are thrifting today. There's actually the bins right behind me, so I'm gonna go in and see what I can find. I'm thrifting on my way down to Portland. I'm actually gonna be getting a tattoo in Portland, so maybe I'll film some of that and show you guys what I get. But basically, we're gonna be at the bins for an hour or two and then hit some stores on the way down, so it'll be kind of like a bins versus rack, see what I can find on the way down to Portland. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you are not subscribed. Let's get into it. All right, we've been at the bins for like 30 minutes. I only got four things, but this one is really good actually. So this is a vintage Banana Republic made in USA. This guy is single stitch. I just sold the Banana Republic for like 70. So the vintage Banana Republic, depending on the designs are really good. Random like Lotus, I think kind of tech T 2008 family guy. And then we have the independent and then some more things assisted over here. Thank you very much. A few more teas assisted. We got this swimming tea. Harley T, this one I'm keeping for sure, size large. Be more in 94, you got the solar system. Drugs and alcohol awareness week. This one is for sure going into the personal. Love this graphic. Got some good size Kaha. Or just like me. We're YouTube friends. <laughs> All right, this is RJ's, but really quick. Why did they change the color in the middle of this word? So it looks like it says, and hi, Sedino. Why did they do that? Really dope team. And his thin. Oh, uh, and hi, Sedino. And hi, Sedino. And hi, Sedino. Why did they do that? All right, little stack. We're going to take off, head down to Portland. We got another few finds. We got this Hawaii tea, this like got game tea. Got a Carhartt assisted by RJ, a Ron John shirt, UCLA champion hoodie, and then that's basically it. I showed you guys everything else. We're gonna buy this stuff, see how much it costs, and then we're gonna go hit some retail stores. All right, really quick, I just wanna show you guys, I spent 16.06 on the stack, and I still cannot believe this shirt. It is so sick. The homie passed it to me. He mainly deals in like workwear and stuff, so not as many t-shirts. Just tossed it to me with like three other shirts. So super hyped on this one, let's keep going. All right, the first retail Goodwill of the trip. Let's go. Beautiful, beautiful shirts. Please give me something. Ooh, the Miami ink. I have two shirts just like this listed on my Depop right now and have not sold. This one is $8. I think I have them up for like 30, so not gonna grab that. All right, thank you, beautiful t-shirt section. You have blessed me with the all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. We got the shining tee right here, five bucks. This is on the 2000s Gildan tag. We have the Midnights at the Baxter back hit. Not sure what the back hit is about, but we got a horror tee up in the mix. Super stoked about this one. So this guy I can't even find much on. It's a Mardo Mod Men size five. Looks like 80s, but it's this crazy all over like comic print short sleeve button up. This guy gets decked right here. Super crazy all over print. It's nine bucks. I cannot find one like it at all online sold or not. So I'm just gonna pick it up, take the gamble. It's a really super unique piece. New school, but still cool. We got the Type O Negative, love you to death. Amazing band, this is a women's size, small, six bucks. Definitely gonna pick this one up, super dope. God, I love the women's section. A few other things, these two actually were found together and it looked like someone had put them back. So thank you whoever put them back. This is new age and it is $8. So I don't wanna spend that much, but I'm going to because this will easily sell on Depop for at least 25 bucks. So I will pay the $8 today to get the Slipknot, really dope. And then this one seven bucks you guys know how i love my ed hardy all over print on this one front and back yeah easily gonna go on depop for at least probably like 45 50 maybe even more so i'm stoked all right you guys five items 
$34.95. So obviously paid up a lot in that store for five items compared to this stack of probably close to 15 items that we got for 16 bucks earlier. So retail stores definitely taxing a bit, but I am happy with my finds. The past like three times I've came to this Goodwill, I found nothing. So persistence and look what it gets you five cool pieces really stoked on the shining tea this tea is really crazy women's section thank you so much let's keep going swinging around here because i saw a yard sale sign over there let me turn my ac down so you can hear me looks like they got clothes and a ton of stuff looks like they have mounds of clothes on the ground you guys imagine if we come up here so i got cash let's see if we can get anything at all look at that nothing you guys i was so hyped i was like watch us come up on some vintage they had piles of clothes it was all women's and kids clothes all modern i didn't see a single vintage piece in there i dug for probably 20 minutes it is really hot it's about 90 degrees in washington which for most of you guys in the other parts of the country or world is probably nothing but it's extremely hot for us so nothing there no video games or anything like that i never stop at yard sales but it looked super promising we're gonna keep it going there's a thrift store right down the street so let's go Next stop, let's go. Pretty bare in here, but let's see what we can find. We already have a YSL button up. No embroidery or anything very plain. I don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't think they actually go for that much, so I'll probably end up passing on this guy. Six bucks, but yeah. Okay, I tried to find a quieter part of the store to show you guys all the stuff, but the speakers are blasting. I found four items, pretty decent finds. I'm bummed though on this one. This one is six bucks, the Brooks and Dunn vintage like Western button up, but it has this stain on it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that out. So I'm gonna pass on it. It would have been like a $30 item, but I will pass on that one. I've never heard of this gun, Caracal but the back hit is crazy you're not vintage or anything but that back hit is dope and it's going to be like 350 so i'm going to grab that adventure time adult size xl this one is four dollars it's from 2010 i saw one on depop for like 30 bucks and three people had it in their cart so i'm going to get this one and then we have the four dollar the grinch size xl this one's like a 2000s one also i'm going to end up picking this one up no back hit so getting these three leaving this one because it's too stained Got some video games. I want to look through these disc only games because they're only a dollar and I think I see some PlayStation 1 games. So I want to look through those really quick, see if we can get any video game stuff. All right, so there was nothing in that little loose video game disc bag, but I did get three items. It was $12 for everything. I'll probably easily be able to make like 50. Let's keep it going to the next store. I love these stickers so much. You guys, we are at the next stop the Reliable Enterprises thrift store. Uh, I found a decent amount of stuff last time I was here. So let's hop in there and see what we got. Everything is a dollar. Every clothing item is one dollar. So I am still looking, but two little finds so far. The high Sierra size large. This is like a thicker cotton striped shirt. I really like the colorway. And then we got the get real with god we got the jesus tea this one is screen printed tag but it definitely looks a little bit older so both of these will be a dollar a piece we're gonna keep looking okay i love the office i have never heard of this brand before love this episode and this quote what's up stanley one dollar for this etc never heard of this brand tacoma washington okay interesting so they're local uh, would you guys pick it up? I don't know. There's like no market for it. Not really any online. So I think I'm gonna leave it. If you guys really want it, let me know. Maybe next time I come here, it'll still be here. But in the meantime, we got this water separates the people of the world. Wine brings them together. Look at this like wine RT single stitch size large made in USA. One dollar found right over here in the women's section. Thank you, women's section. We are out of there. Three items for 321. And our next stop is right across the parking lot. Let's go hit it. 
All right, a few light finds, nothing major, but the prices in here are always so good. A dollar for this screen printed tag, Indy 500, gonna grab that. We got the Odd Future Double Dare Rip. This is also a dollar size small, gonna get that. And then New Age Lilo and Stitch Tie Dye. This one is two, but I still think I could get like 15 to 20 for it. But this one is my favorite find, $2. This is on the Red Bar Anvil, but made in USA. This one is single stitch. We have all of the horses, kind of like a paint brush design, single stitch, as I said. This one's really dope, at least probably 25, 30 on my Depop, so. Oh. So let's go hit the women's section now. All right, the women's section comes through, as always, two little tees. We got this Honesty Flower. This one is single stitch, $2, made in USA. Really, really cool design. You guys know I love my flower tees. So we got this one and we got the Magic the Gathering online for $1. We got this like Lotus hit on the back, picking both of these up, all this. And then I'm looking through a little bit more over here. All right, one more thing in the women's section. We have this Harley Davidson sweatshirt for $4. We got sleeve print, we got the skull and we have back print. So I'm going to grab this along with everything else. It is extremely hot in this store, no AC. They only have one fan up front. So I am dying. Let's get out of here. $6.94 for everything we got in that store. I forgot they normally have a sale. Oh, she gave me 50% off everything. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so $6.94, basically seven bucks for everything we just got in there. All right, you guys, this is going to be the last stop of the day. Second time around thrift store. If you guys remember these bins from one of my other videos, I found that born again pagan shirt in one of those bins. I'm definitely gonna go through the bins. Look at the VHS over here, five VHS for a dollar and then see what's inside. All right, first thing, Pirates of the Caribbean, all over print, size XL, just the front print, but it's in this bin. I think it's gonna be like a dollar or something. So definitely gonna take this guy. So I actually just found two more Pirates of the Caribbean shirts looking through here. Another XL screen printed tag, or this one's actually 2XL, but Stranger Tides, and then this one doesn't even have a tag or anything, but I'm gonna pick them both up for sure. So already finding some stuff. Let's see what else we have in here. Another thing in this bin, size large, made in USA on the jerseys tag, we have the reading exposure, math, tales, read, history, word, IRA. So dope, yeah, I think this will be a dollar two or fill a bag for six, so not sure what I'll do. Let's hope I find more and I can just fill a bag. A few more things that I found in that bin. We just have this like, what is this? Colorado destination tee. And then I found a vintage, where is it? Vintage guitar tee, I think it's right here. Never heard of these guitars before. It is the Ovation Plug It In Guitar Promo Tee. Size large, good tag. So yeah, I think all this is probably just gonna be like six bucks for all this. I think I have around six shirts. So now let's go inside. Inside the thrift now, let's see what we find. There is my outside finds. Let's go. All right, last stop. We did the fill a bag. $6.49 for everything I showed you guys. It's funny, I actually didn't get anything inside, only outside in these bins. So shout out to the bins. All right, you guys, that does it for the thrifting part of this video. If you guys did like what you saw, please like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you guys want anything that you saw in this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram here and shoot me a DM. Also, if you guys just wanna wait and see whenever I post it on Depop, I'll leave my Depop up here. I post 10 new items a day on my Depop and right now I have over 600 items in my Depop store. So if you guys wanna check out any cool vintage, maybe support me, check out my Depop, I'd really appreciate it. I will include probably a few more clips, uh, me getting tattooed, what I end up getting tattooed if you guys want to stick around for the video, some random Portland vlog stuff, maybe some food and stuff like that. So if you guys do like that, I will have a few more clips in this video. If not, totally fine. But thank you guys so much for watching this trip to the thrift. Let me know in the comments, what do you think a better deal is? Bins or going to retail stores? Some of these retail stores had clothing for a dollar. This had basically bins prices for a retail store. So I like both. I have not been a big fan of Goodwill lately, like just a Goodwill retail store, but I did find some decent stuff stuff earlier. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys prefer? Do you like going to the Goodwill outlets, the bins, or do you guys like going to retail thrift stores? Maybe even yard sales. Maybe I should try some more yard sales. I never really find clothing or anything at yard sales, but let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Here it comes. If you guys watch Jacob Starr's videos, you guys know about these bridges. Here we go. He does the like slow pan little interlude thing right here. There it is, the Jacob Starr bridge. We be fortnighting. 
And if you guys wanted to know, I am a Fortnite god. It's true. There's my first win. There's my second win of the night. I'm about to get my third win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy, just easy. Yeah, number four. Uh, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Number four. Uh, 16 kills. That's uh, just easy. Yeah, it's just, just too easy. Too easy. Number five of the night. <laughs> Look at these stats. 17 elims. Ah, uh, shoot. The vintage Gooch. We be going to the Gucci store today. I'm gonna show you guys my elbow Yatu a little bit better. Yatu. My Yatu. Emma's gonna show it to you guys. Show you the deets on it. Uh, it wasn't that bad, pain-wise. Last 20 minutes sucked, but I have my other elbow tattooed, so it one nothing new to me. So let's show you the deets. The deets. Okay, Charlie's Breakfast PDX, the best, the biggest crunch wrap breakfast crunch wrap. Look at this thing. It is 10 pounds. It is gigantic, all vegan. Wow. I went to this fancy mall and got Gucci slide loafer slip-ons. Comment if you want to see them in the next video. Okay, goodbye. Were you being good? Harvey? Were you being good or not? Hmm? What's in your skull, huh? Is there nothing up in there? Is there nothing up in your big head? Huh? Yeah, there's nothing up there, huh? Nope.